This One News update is brought to you by the new ANZ. A disturbing warning for people in the Wellington region today in a major report on the area's preparedness for a major earthquake. It's revealed just how badly basic services would be affected if Wellington was struck by a 7.5 earthquake. James Ransley has details. It seems like these from the Canterbury earthquakes that authorities in Wellington are keen not to repeat if the big one was to hit. If we didn't learn the lessons from Christchurch, we would be really stupid. A report by the Wellington Lifelines Trust, a group of infrastructure providers, has found the regions still a long way off from being ready. We are moving along the road of preparedness, uh, but we're not there yet, and in fact it is a long-term process. The report found if a 7.5 magnitude quake struck the capital, Wellington's roads would be so badly damaged, people could be stuck in the region for months. Most of the region would be without power for at least three weeks, and restoring sewage systems could take several months. Worst case scenario, Hutt Valley is cut off from the rest of the region. It means essential supplies like food and fuel would have to be barged across Wellington Harbour to here at Petone Beach. Lines company Wellington Electricity, which carries power to about 160,000 homes and businesses in the region, admits the network's not as quake-proof as it could be. The network's built underground to keep away from the high winds and that's not a great place to be in, a, in an earthquake event. Um, it's, it's unreasonable, Nick, but we need to do some more reinforcement. That could be between 10 and $70 million. It says consumers will have to pay extra, but not before it consults with the public on the extent of the seismic restrengthening. This is, of course, um, expensive and we have taken a worst case scenario deliberately. The likelihood of a shake that size has a 1 in 10 chance of happening every 100 years. Even so, the report's authors hope their work will best prepare Wellingtonians for when the big one hits. James Ransley, One News. This One News update is brought to you by the new ANZ.